Welcome to Witchy World. World free. It's Grunty's abandoned, kinda creepy amusement park. And it is fantastic. Alright. Gonna hit the warp pad right here and... Well, you are kinda familiar. Hello there, little darlings. Err, have we met, lady? Not personally, but I believe you helped my husband out a while ago when we still lived on Freezy Peak. Ah, then you must be Mrs. Boggy. How is the big guy? Oh, a little older, a little fatter. He's given up sled racing and he's taken to watching his new widescreen TV all day. Lazy oaf. Anyway, I must be getting back home. I told my children, Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy, to meet me here. I don't suppose you feel like rounding them up for me. Um, Mrs. Boggy, how did you enter the park when it was closed until literally two seconds ago? <laughs> Suspicious. So yeah, Boggy's family returns in this game, except the kids are a little older now. And now we've got to find them and bring them back to her. And that's going to be a long involved quest. We can use this shock jump disc to jump to the top of this ticket booth here. And there's a switch up top. A switch with a burger on it. I'll just pop it back on the grill, and the pure the punters will never know. Oh, I've been rumbled. <laughs> Witchy World also has probably my favorite music in the game. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so these are the pickpocket employees. You'll see different varieties of them throughout the park, and uh, they'll try to beat you up and kill you. Oh, this is a new one. You've collected a random stop, Honeycomb. Press B to choose your new energy bar. So unlike the skill one, this will just kind of go willy-nilly. And it's and in the later world, it's not good to pick those up, because chances are you're going to lower your health like I just did there. <laughs> Danger, 1,000 gigawatt electric fence. <laughs> well, as you're about to learn, grenade eggs solve a lot of problems. We can blow up the gate and enter this area. <laughs> this is a creepy place. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of like the, s the space area, and the little pickpocket employees will have little alien masks on. <laughs> I love the sound that they make. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here in Area 51, which I think this is actually what it's called, Area 51. Or Bunker 51, because there is a giant 51 at the top of this bunker. Yep, 51. So there's not a whole lot we can do, but there is a shock jump disc over here. Be careful not to touch the actual fence part of the electric fence. Or we can hover over here and get 10 notes. These here are slot machines that will shoot, uh, coins at you. They're annoying. They're also very tough to defeat. Most of your attacks are just gonna bounce right off them. Ooh, nice little big top circus tent in the center of the course. Hey, it's another character from the first game. We're in the big top interior. <laughs> Let me see your tickets, buddy. Tickets? What do we need them for? Four tickets are required to enter Conga's Big Top. No tickets, no entry. Right, uh, let's go find some tickets. <laughs> Conga now owns the circus. <laughs> Don't think I have forgotten that you beat me up in the first banjo because of the game. <laughs> Alright, witchy world. One cool thing you can do, you can actually walk up these ropes to the big top. It can be tricky to do because the camera angle is not great and they're very narrow, but you actually can walk up them and there are surprise prizes at the top of this tent. First up is this Jinjo. Yeah, that's our third green Jinjo, nice. And on this side is a new set of shoes. These are the Claw Clamber Boots, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. Ain't that just the pits? So 
So if we go behind Kanga's big top tent, we'll find the first jam jar silo. Need 160 notes. Chump change. Split up! Separate, separate skills are what you lack, so let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Find your pads is what you do, pressing A makes one become two. That'll be all. Dismissed! So this is where uh, most of the new moves in the game come into, and I have mixed feelings on this. So if you find these pads here, which we've seen several times, and press A, we'll split into just Banjo and just Kazooie. You have split up! To change to the other character, stand on your pad or near a swap cloud and press A. To rejoin, simply touch the two characters together. Yeah, so this is one of the main gimmicks of Banjo-Tooie is that these pads can allow us to split into just Banjo and just Kazooie. The problem is, A, just Banjo and just Kazooie are weaker, they don't have as much HP, and they also have very few moves. Like, Banjo right now can't even attack. And he only has, like, two really simple jumps. We're gonna learn a ton of new moves as just Banjo and just Kazooie, and that's where most of the new moves come in, which I have mixed feelings about. I wish the two of them together got more moves. But it does make for some interesting puzzles, as we learn. It's just, at the beginning, splitting up is really a huge pain in the butt. And a lot of people think it's just a huge pain in the butt throughout the entire game, which I kind of get. Kazooie only has 4 HP. Also can't do normal attacks, but at least Kazooie can still shoot eggs, so she can at least defend herself on, like, Banjo. She's also super fast and can actually fly and hover, and is a better jumper than they are together, so... I feel like Kazooie's more fun to play as, but a little more risky. But Banjo gets a lot of moves, so... We're not gonna separate them to begin with. There's also a warp pad here that we want to uh, pick up. Right now, if we can avoid having them split up, we're going to do that. Just because, at this point in time, splitting up is a bad thing. It makes the both of them weaker. And right now, for the most part, what the split up pads are used for is to just hold down separate switches. But... We'll get into that when we get into that. Stupid slot machine. I don't want to gamble. Oh. What's this? Big Al's Burgers! 100% meat of rodent origin topped with a synthetic cheese slice. Um. Can I not? <laughs> this guy looks exactly like the type of guy you would want to get food from. What do you think? <laughs> I could do without the bad breath. Fancy a burger? Big Al sells the tastiest burgers in Witchy World. Ah! How on earth did you get a job in catering? Well, I'm not sure really. I used to clean out the toilets. I've lost my appetite all of a sudden. Go on, give him a try. I've got a few left. Do you want them? Give me some burgers, Al. Okay, kid. Burgers coming right up. Uh, you want fries with that? Ooh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. What? I've got no more burgers left. I better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Maybe we don't want burgers. <laughs> yeah, if we go to the special objects and items, we now have five burgers with which to work with. Which is kind of interesting, and those will play a role in Witchy World, believe it or not. Let's pick up the notes and ignore that slot machine. This is the real space zone. The other area is technically Bunker 51. This is actually called the space zone. Let's see what's here. We've got the Saucer of Peril ride. We've got the Star Spinner ride. We've also got the Dodgem Dome over there. So there's actually a couple of rides over here. That's nice. We're gonna pick up that warp pad. Mumble pad. We also saw Mumble pad in Bunker 51. I don't like those special honeycombs, man. Alright, what we can do is, we can actually climb up the Dodge and Dome, and I recommend doing this sooner rather than later. 
Because at the top here is a Jinjo. That's our second purple Jinjo. Oh man, I can't see a thing. I can't tell if it's just my TV brightness is super low or whatnot, but I can't see squat. Like literally, I, I have no idea where I'm going. All right. Looking for the kids? You might find them in the Inferno, Star Spinner, Crazy Castle, or the Dodgeons. There are also more places that the kids can be. So there are three kids, and I believe each kid has three different locations that they can show up in. And which locations they show up in is dependent on... is basically randomly determined at the start of your save file. Take that. Alright, fine. I'll get the, the skill stopper fine. That can help me top off my HP. Oh, hey! Another jam jar silo, we need 180 notes. Airborne egg aiming. Shooting eggs defends bird and bear. So why not fire them in the air? Up C gives you the aiming sight. Then press Z to shoot from height. That'll be all. Dismissed! So you know the egg aiming, where we can stand on the ground and go into first person egg shooting mode? Now we can do that while flying, which is really cool. And we'll open up quite a bit. Alright. One of the kids can potentially be right here. But they're not there. Alright. Let's check out the Star Spinner, shall we? This actually has an entrance, unlike the Dodge of Domes and the Saucer of Peril. Star Spinner. Take that. Looks like the Star Spinner doesn't have much going for it right now. <gasps> Something I've been told. I don't know if this is true. I've never done this before, but I've heard if you shoot a grenade egg at this. <laughs> Oi! You vandal! You'll have to pay for any damage caused, you know! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> I wonder if that'll do anything. Oh, hey, another Jinjo. <laughs> I'm a Minjo, arch enemy of the Jinjos. Okay, this introduces a new concept, Minjos. So Minjos look exactly like regular Jinjos, except they'll be hiding out in different places. And they can be kind of a pain in the butt to kill. Wonder Wing and Vulnerability will hit them, but I don't think the dodge roll will actually like hurt them at all. You can rat attack wrap them, though. So they can be tough because they're ground-based enemies and you have to do that from the air. But you can kill them. So now, that adds a little bit of paranoia. Every time you see a Jinjo, it might be a Jinjo or it might be a Minjo. Oh hey, this is the first of the kids. So this is the girl. I think this is Soggy. Oh, I'm starving! Give me some fries and I'll leave quietly! I don't have fries. I, I have burgers! Yeah, I know where those burgers have been. I don't want them. So, Soggy here can show up in, I believe, three different places. One place she can show up is the Star Spinner. Another area she can show up is the Wild West area, which we have yet to see, but that was the place that we saw in Jiggy Wiggy's puzzle. She might be able to show up somewhere else, but if so, I don't know where. I've only ever seen her here or in the Crazy Castle Stockade. Alright, well, we can't do anything in the Star Spinner right now because the power's off. Oh man, I love the Witchy World music and all of its variations. Oh hey! Here's an interesting tent. Come inside and have your fortune told by Madam Grunty. However, we are contractually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides. What could go wrong? Ah, welcome! I will now choose your fate. You win extra fire eggs. That was nice of you. Let's have our fortune told again. Ah, welcome! I will now choose your fate. You win extra eggs! Dane, thanks, Grunty! What a pal! 
I like I like this fortune telling shop. Ah, welcome! I will now choose your fate. You win a B team. I like this one. <laughs> Madam Grunty's tent is now temporarily closed for refurbishment. How convenient that I can't beat you up in return. Is that actually Grunty back there? Or is that like a Grunty fortune telling machine? I don't know, but it's hilarious. And believe it or not, there is something special you can get if you go to M Madam Grunty's tent enough. Maybe. Alright, so this is another zone. This is the haunted zone. We have the dive of death. We have the inferno. And it seems to be it. <laughs> and then the pickpocket employees here have uh, Frankenstein masks. <laughs> Which is funny. Oh boy, I want to try out the dive of death. What could go wrong? Okay, we are up very high. Madame Grunty's tent is now open again. Wow, that's a lot faster than what Disney takes. So at the very end of this dive of death is Jiggy. <laughs> but boy howdy, if you make a wrong step, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> of course, you can also just jump in and grab and grab sidle across it. All right, that's our first Jiggy of the world, pretty easy. And now we're going to jump into the tank. Easy. And there are a couple of notes down here for us to collect. It's also interesting, I believe, uh, Witchy World is one of the very few worlds that does not have a, like an underwater variation of the main theme. Because I think the only water in this world is in that tank. All right, let's go through this uh, the, this friendly looking green door. What could go wrong? 